Digital images are all around us, so shouldn't we understand how they work? Let's dive in. This is a famous scene from a movie called Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And this kid is visiting a museum and he's looking at a pointillist painting. And pointillism is an art technique where the painter uses lots and lots and lots of tiny dots of paint rather than brush strokes. All of these small dots together add up to the overall picture painting that we see when we're looking at it from far away, but up close as he's looking at it, all you see are the tiny little dots of paint. So digital images work the same way, except that instead of dots of paint, we have dots of light, and these are called pixels. So let's look at an image up close to find out how this works. This is a building by a famous architect, Peter Zumplor, and I'm going to zoom in. And as we do, you're gonna start to see some little squares. There they are, tiny little squares. Zoom up so you can see this guy here. So each of these little squares is called a pixel. And you can see that the pixels are many different colors, but each little square has only one color, and that's a rule. Pixels can only be one color, not two at a time. The more pixels that we have in an image, the higher the resolution, and that just means we can see more details. So let's look at an example of this. Here's our image again, and this image is a typical size. It's 2000 by 1333. So that means that there are 2000 pixels across this way. Okay, left and right. And there are 1,333 pixels up. We can count them up, 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 up this way. Okay? So the next slide, smaller. It's, you probably didn't even see anything change, right? 2,500. It's very minute. This one's a little bit blurrier, but it still looks pretty good. We have 500 pixels across this image, helping show what this, this picture actually is, helping see the countryside. But look at this. Now we've reduced it down to 100 pixels across. And you can tell with your eyes, you can see that these plants here are now squares instead of plants. And just for the sake of argument, here is that same image represented by just 10 pixels across and six pixels tall. Another way of thinking about this is that we're just making the image smaller. So I'll show you again, but this time we'll look at the size of the image instead of the size of the pixel. So it's 2000 by 1333. Now this one is 1000 pixels across. This one is 500 pixels across. This one is 100 pixels across. And this one is 10. Actually, it's that little dot's actually probably bigger than 10 pixels. This is just the smallest that Google Slides would let me make my image. Okay, so one more thing before we go. We know that the pixels each have their own color, but you should also know that each pixel has its own location. And we can define the location by two values, how far it is to the left and right in the image and how far it is up and down. So look at the end of Mario's hat there. We see that we can count from the top, one, two, three pixels, and count from the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pixels. And we can say that the tip of Mario's hat is pixel 318. Now, why do we care? Why is this important? Okay, because we can use this knowledge to not only find out what color a particular pixel is, let's say his overalls, the buttons on his overalls, we could find out where they are and that they're yellow. But we can also find out what colors are surrounding that button on the overalls. And so you, you can know, hey, actually look at those overalls. The overall yellow pixel is covered by, uh, surrounded, I'm sorry, surrounded by no other yellow pixels, nothing the same. It's very different from what is around it. So this is a pattern, a pattern we can see with our eyes and also a pattern that a computer can pick up on. It's a unique thing, so maybe we and maybe the computer should pay attention to it. 
All right, now you know. Images are made of pixels. The more pixels you have, the higher the resolution, meaning the more details you can show. Every pixel has a color and a location, and that is important because computers can recognize patterns within these colors and locations.